So as many might well, might know is that in you know 2021, China essentially said it wouldn't fund coal projects overseas um, going forward. And that was quite important for the African continent because a lot of projects that were being financed previously were coal. Um, and since then, um, that you know pledge has has held true and there haven't been there hasn't been any new coal projects taking shape. Um, which has, I mean, it's not like they're directly correlated, but we also see that, you know, there is a lot of space for renewables coming in as well. I think some of the challenges um, to their growth, because they still represent a relatively small amount, this is non-hydro renewables, we're definitely not where we'd like to be. Um, and I think some of the challenges is kind of, um, one, the coordination challenges on the um the financier side um, around these projects. So essentially, from research, um, basically ch China prefers to finance kind of larger, more larger scale projects. And these renewable projects in Africa are, are typically um, a bit smaller than, you know, the usual, uh, I don't know, hundreds of megawatts to gigawatt projects. So just the coordination challenges within the ministry and the myri well, ministries and myriad of Chinese actors involved to actually get these projects off the ground is, is one aspect. Um, I think another key challenge um, that's come up has been also the government guarantees um, around renewable projects. So those are coming in less and less, uh, very few and far between. And that's something that when um, China is doing state-backed projects, you know, are preferable.